This tower, to me, is going to be very iconic, and I think what it shows is progress. I think it shows pride. I think this city has a lot of pride. So we just wanted to have a landmark for Bryan, and it's right next to our property where we make all the dum-dums. So literally the water in the water tower is the water that's used when we cook the dum-dums. So there's something kind of special about that. When we heard that they needed to paint the water tower again, we got in touch with the city and said, hey, we got an idea. And we went through a, a lot of different iterations. The first idea was to have it look like it was filled with millions and millions of little dum-dums. Uh, but then uh, Eric, the artist, pointed out that it would be really hard to kind of see that unless you were really close. We all thought it got a little bit too busy. Let's just focus on Dum Dums, uh, which is just an iconic brand for us, and it's uh, something that everybody can recognize. Well, Dum Dums have been around since 1924, and Spangler Candy, we've been making them since the 1950s. We make over two billion every year and we really are the lollipop capital of the world. We make more lollipops in this facility than any other plant over the, in the entire world. So that's something we're real proud of. We are in the business of making candy, so we don't really know how to paint water towers, but the advice that we got uh, was to actually have it hand painted by Eric Henn, who has done things like this all over the country, and they thought we, it would get a better, it would just look better to get kind of the vibrant colors that we wanted instead of a wrap, and it's, we think it's gonna last longer. We chose a red because we actually call that Dum Dum's Red. It's, if you look at our bags, most of our bags are that exact same red. So the Dum Dum is a 65 foot tall Dum Dum and we have eight of them. So it is, I think, the largest lollipop in the world. What I enjoy the most is um, the challenge um, to paint something that is like real high aerial work. It's not the norm, it's not on a canvas, it's an actual industrial structure and it makes my job more interesting. Safety is very crucial. The weather is right up there with the height challenge. Weather determines everything. Then you gotta be aware if rain is coming later in the day, it takes four hours for this paint to set up and cure. And once it cures, it's like an auto paint. It's got a really hard finish and nothing really penetrates it. The way that you typically get things correct before you start actually painting is on paper first. You figure out square footage and you get the diameter and the height of the structure, the tower, and you figure all that out, like how wide, how tall something's gonna be, and then you make your patterns from that. I have to freehand all the shading and blend for the shadows that's on the paper and the wraps and then the bottom lettering. So there's always freehand involved in there. My tools are ingenuity and skill to get to that spot with the lift. And then as far as actual application, I use paint brushes and rollers. I rarely spray anything. It's just amazing that he's able to do so much work uh, just by, by him himself in, in a lift and up in the elements with the wind and moving the carriage back and forth. We actually have dozens of flavors of dum-dums. There's eight flavors on the water tower and we tried to pick flavors more for the color just so that we had a nice kind of balance of light and dark but obviously we got some of our favorite flavors the mystery flavor is iconic and something that just people enjoy and trying to find out what they're going to get so we did a kind of a mix of of the popular ones and the traditional ones like root beer very traditional flavor cream soda very traditional flavor and a flavor that's really associated with dum dums I like the root beer one. I like the colors in it, uh, but also the watermelon next to it, and then the mystery one. So those are my three favorites. They're all fun to paint. It makes a, an interesting day when you get to bring out new colors. There's a new flavor every day. It makes it fun. What is my favorite Dum Dum flavor? Well, uh, I guess the way I answer that is it's a little bit like saying, who's your favorite child? 
if you do have one, you certainly can't say. What this tower ranks as far as past towers, I'd give it 100% for coolness. Yeah, what's uh, the community response been? I've been surprised at how many people have just been really excited about it. I think it just brings a lot of kind of civic pride, and I think they're gonna come over here and get uh, selfies in front of the water tower. I mean, why not? We hope you enjoyed this segment of Scenic Stops and Stories. Be sure to follow our social media pages for the latest updates and headlines.